Twitter users have once again done their part in trolling President Donald Trump. As his presidential term comes to an end, Donald Trump has gone down kicking and screaming, mainly on Twitter, talking about how the election has not only been fraudulent, but was also stolen from him and the American people. Now, regardless of politics and what you believe, Twitter has not been the kindest place to President Trump. Clearly his go-to platform over the years, the site's policies have changed significantly, and it seems President Trump was a driving force. For example, fact-checking was never really a thing on Twitter. And then President Trump started tweeting out wild claims which eventually led to Twitter creating a little note letting users know whether something may or may not be legitimate. Specifically in regards to Trump, a lot of his posts have a note which reads, and I quote, this claim about election fraud is disputed. And then you click that and it takes you to an entire Twitter feed talking about why that tweet could be controversial or just wrong. And it seems once again Twitter is taking it to Trump, but this time it's the users who are trolling the president. I'm going to tell you guys all about it right now in IO, but before I do, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, that little like button for us real quick, we really appreciate it. And also, Regardless of what time of day it is, I hope you're having yourself a wonderful day or evening or afternoon or morning. So that's just a little ad lib I'm throwing in there for you guys because I'm feeling nice today. So Twitter users decided to band together and ensure the hashtag Purdue says Biden one started to trend following a leaked Zoom call. The Zoom call shows David Purdue and Kelly Loafer, who are Georgia's senators, as well as Norm Coleman, a former senator, all having a chat about, you guessed it, politics. More specifically, it seems they're talking about how things are going to go down when Biden and his team take over the duties of running the United States of America. Now you may be wondering, why is this a big deal? Isn't that normal? And my answer is yes, it is normal. But it's a big deal because these folks are also refusing to admit that Trump lost the election or that Biden won. Either way, this is them pretty much being exposed for being two-faced. Gosh, who would have thought? Politicians being two-faced? Wowzers. Now the funny part comes from the hashtag being circulated solely for the purpose of pissing Trump off. The Zoom video was first obtained by the Washington Post, but was later posted to Twitter by user at ReallyAmerican1, who captioned the video, I quote, David hashtag Purdue says Biden won and has betrayed President Trump. Please don't retweet this and use the hashtag Purdue says Biden won to get Trump angry at his disloyal minion. Now to clarify in the video itself, Purdue doesn't outright say Biden won the election, but instead alludes to it while speaking with his colleagues. He specifically says, and I quote, here we have Biden and McConnell, who are ex-colleagues in the Senate, who are no negotiators, who if Biden can get away from the extreme part of his party, he might make some deals. So we might be in a position where we could, if they end up being in power, we could end up in a position to do something. Following the video being posted on Twitter, at MM Padelin, then tweeted out, I quote, Tweeps, if you're still awake and looking to make some good trouble, let's get 2,000 fast retweets and replies on hashtag Purdue says Biden won. It's going to make a real sh day for David Purdue, Kelly Loafer, and Trump, of course. Let's go. To no surprise, this tweet would blow up considering the user who tweeted it out has just under 800,000 followers. And shortly after, the hashtag started to trend on Twitter. This led to numerous other users on Twitter posting some of their best memes and jokes associated with the hashtag. And let me tell you, they did not disappoint. At really American one tweeted out, anybody else want to keep hashtag Hashtag Purdue says Biden won trending until Trump cancels his trip to Georgia. Another user posted a photo of Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama laughing, captioned, Hillary spreading the news that hashtag Purdue says Biden won. Some took the same template and instead replaced Michelle Obama with Barack as he and Hillary were once photographed sitting in chairs laughing together. Which of course, that's just gonna, you know, be turned into a meme a hundred times. That's like, the, that's such a, you could make it anything about the Republicans and the two of them talking, you know, how could you not? Now, how this affects things going forward, well, I wouldn't say it changes anything at all. As of this recording, both Purdue and Loeffler are supporting lawsuits claiming that Trump won the election, or lawsuits that are somewhat related, such as the one filed in Texas claiming that Georgia's Attorney General is wrong with his decision of disagreeing the results in Georgia's elections were inaccurate. So pretty much, he says, hey, everything here is legit. They went to Texas and they're just like, we, we, we agree with this lawsuit that the Attorney General in Georgia He's wrong, it wasn't legit. This is clearly a case of people just simply not trying to lose their jobs and stick by their guns, but I will say, Twitter is one hell of a place. The fact that they got something to try just to piss off some politicians is just, that's wild, that's fantastic, I love it. Now, as always, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Do you use Twitter? I do, it's fun, but sometimes toxic. Either way, give me a follow, why not? Either way, for now, let's do some comment replies from the video, mother arrested for locking son in room for 28 years. Audrey M said he may be physically free, but mentally he's still captive. It's very heartbreaking. Some things will stick with you forever, that definitely will. I wish the man the very best in his life, but unfortunately, you know, that's not something that you could just overcome. And it's definitely gonna take a lot of time for him to, I guess, ease into normal life, for lack of a better word. Emma O said, and I quote, all children deserve parents, though not all parents deserve children, unknown. I read that and I was like, that's deep. That's like, that's crazy, because that's true. All children do deserve to have parents, but all parents definitely don't deserve to have children. Like, it's, it's, it's wild when you think about it. Corey with a Y, no E, said, wow, too bad he got freed in 2020 when we're all locked in our houses now. I did not even think about that when I made this story, and let me tell you, that is insane. Like, this is the one year when everything's, 
That is crazy. But I did see a comment replying to this one saying, maybe it's a good thing because that'll help him kind of ease back into, you know, like rather than just going full swing when everybody's running on the streets, it's like kind of ease back into socializing and talking to people. But it is also in Sweden and I'm pretty sure they're not in a lockdown anymore. I don't really know. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Been your host, Jared Bronstein. We'll see you soon.